with Mike Bacon from Brew Burgers. Hey. And we're making a different yeah. kind of burger. We are. We always do something different. Yeah, mm -hmm. tell us about the tuna burger. Well, we actually start with a wild-caught, non-GMO albacore tuna. Um, we, it's got a panko bed, breadcrumbs in it and some egg. And I think, uh, without any further ado, we're going to whip one up. It's um, Harder to get it to go together, I would think. It is these. a little bit. You have to be really careful when you're flipping them, as we may see in a minute. We may not. <laughs> I don't know. Where it's, it's, always a it's always a gamble. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got so, a lot of stuff. And, it, you know, as any recipe that I am involved with, usually it ends up being an extravaganza, because I start with one thing and I taste it and I say, ah, This needs a little something. So, <laughs> so there's about six million ingredients. All right, um, let's dump them in. So we're going to put an egg in first. Okay. So it's kind of like a mini meatloaf. It, it is like a mini up. meatloaf. We'll throw that right in there to get rid of it. And then okay. we have some uh, cayenne pepper going in there, some oh, smoked heat. paprika. We have pepper. salt and pepper. We okay. have uh, Italian seasoning going in. Uh, red and green bell peppers, wow, celery. I know. So it's crunch. Crunch. <laughs> Carrots to do like here. Onions. Yeah. It's yeah. exactly yeah. what it is. It's, like it's a tuna kind of a take cake. on that. Yep. Okay. And you could use any kind of seafood, really. We, we've done it with uh, yellowfin tuna. We've done it with ahi. This is just something you might have at your house. You, know, yeah. you want to whip together. So, anyway, yeah. it also has a little mayo in there, panko breadcrumbs. I have some in here already. Um, this is a Hecka Habanero from Brew Burgers. Nice. Oh. Huh? Don't Gotta get have the spice. You can't see that, but anyway. Um, and we also have a little chili sauce, a little Worcestershire. So once we mix it all together. Um, now it's twice as big as it was. Exactly. See? Yes. Yeah, it's economical. <laughs> um, I brought a little extra panko because I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little wet right now. So we're just going to dump a little in to pull it together. So how do you know when it binds well enough? Is you it, know what? If you if, can make a ball, it's good. I'm not sure if you can see. I don't you know if I can right do this there. or not. You but need more yeah. panko this, or whatever that yeah, is. So this right here is what it's going to end up looking. It's almost like tuna fish. Right. You know, like, like you would make at home. It's a right. little drier than that. Um, so anyway, right, what I did, right, as you can see up here, is I put them right in the pan. All right, so you made a ball out of yep. it. Yep, and then I kind of just gave it a little love, uh, and then we're going to actually just move that right onto a bun well, without any further Well, that sounds like a great ado, idea. Right? <laughs> and I'm going to put some remoulade sauce on the top. This we make a little bit of homemade remoulade with so capers. So we really don't have to cook it. We're just kind of warming it. A little crust really? on it. Okay. Um, you want it to be warm. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a burger, yeah. so. Uh, I definitely put a little crust on both sides, and it it actually lifts easier off the plate that way oh, too, nice. because it's not gonna. Well, just enough it's not to gonna cook the egg, I guess. Yeah, right? exactly. You want to cook it, it through, warm it up, just like you would, uh, you know, like a tuna. All right, where'd the remoulade go? Oh, yeah. sauce I'm, this baby it's out. Hiding yeah. the remoulade. Yeah, don't hide it. So anyway, there we go. It's, there's no sense in being shy with the sauce. I love I put the, that on a brioche delicious. roll just to give it a little buttery. Okay. Uh, yeah. And That's National right. Burger Month starts in May, and this is, you've already perfected the regular beef burger, so this is a nice yeah. way to, to play with the uh, tuna. And exactly. my knowledge? Sure. Most of the burgers on the menu with Mike and Brew Burgers are not just regular. Give us a quick little tour here because we got all sorts of fun. All right, well, we've, this is here. a perennial favorite. We've brought this on, on air. As, we brought Ollie on air, as a matter of yeah. fact. This is the Ollie G Burger. It was named after my son Oliver. Tapenade? Oh. It's got a spicy olive tapenade. It has brie. It has a uh, Chipotle ranch. And it oh. also has bacon because my last name's Bacon. So <laughs> Bacon. And then, you know, a traditional patty melt there on marbled rye, which we get from St. Armand's Bakery right here locally, oh, so that's great. nice. That's very um, nice. With grilled onions and Thousand Island and American cheese, etc. And a bacon cheeseburger, because it's a classic. Because uh, it's a classic. It's a and classic. May is a classic month to yep. celebrate the all-American burger, so we've got lots of great things going on. Be sure to go see Mike at Brew Burgers in Venice, and you'll be at the Venice Seafood Festival. We will this weekend. Yep. Well. Oh, see, he can't even wait. Look I'm it. sorry. Are you <laughs> digging in? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Try a regular burger. You're gonna lean over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Other burgers. I'd love to watch you do that gracefully. All right, well, yeah. we've got lots to look forward to the rest of the week. Thanks for joining us, Rick. Great to have you Thank here. You. Congratulations Bye -bye. on the many great things happening Thanks. at Manatee Performing Arts Center. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. All right, I'll, I'll join you.